This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at concentration cells. A concentration cell has the same electrodes in each half cell, but the concentration of the electrolyte in each half cell is different. This concentration cell is made of two copper half cells. In both half cells, the material of the electrode is the same, which is copper, but the concentration of the electrolyte in each half cell is different. In the half cell on the left, which is the anode, we have a concentration of 0.0100 mole per decimeter. In the half cell on the right, which is the cathode, we have a concentration of 0.100 mole per decimeter. In the half cell with a lower concentration, copper atoms are oxidized to form copper ions, and the concentration of the solution increases. In the half cell with a higher concentration, copper ions are reduced to form copper atoms, and the concentration of the solution decreases. The reaction will continue until both half cells are the same concentration. The voltage produced in the reaction can be calculated using the Nernst equation. We will start by calculating the reaction quotient Q. Q is equal to the concentration of the half cell that undergoes oxidation, that's the anode, divided by the concentration of the half cell that undergoes reduction, that's the cathode. In a concentration cell, the half cell with a lower concentration will undergo oxidation, and the half cell with a higher concentration will undergo reduction. This gives us a value of Q of 0 0.100. Next, we'll use the Nernst equation to calculate the cell potential. For a concentration cell, the value for the standard electropotential is 0. So when we do the calculation, we get a value for the cell potential of 0 0.0295 volts.